Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over what we got for our birthday opening in five days. I made a video um, almost a month ago that was birthday opening in 30 days, and I'm just gonna show you what I got. We're five days away, and I just went back to my channel and. Um, like about like 11 months ago, I saw my quote unquote biggest opening ever. I was like, I've never had this many crystals before. It was six five stars. That was it. That was the whole video. And um, in that video, I just 100% of the labyrinth. So it's funny because in the last less than a year, we finished a labyrinth 100% and um, Abyss and X6. So, uh, you know, our roster's gotten beefed up. So, quote unquote, the biggest opening I've ever done a year ago is six five stars. So, I'm about to show you what we got going into this episode. Um, this is pretty crazy. I never thought I'd have this much shit to open. So, we're waiting for this to go to Cosmic uh, so I can add another one to that collection. We have 21 of the red and yellow one, or the mutant and skill. And we're about to have 21 Cosmic and tech. So, right now we're at 42. Plus, I'm probably going to have enough to open a basic, so 43, 5 stars. And I did the math with all of those dupes together. We should be able to get one more, which is 12 6-star crystals or 120,000 shards. So we're, we have right now 43 5-stars and probably 12 6-stars, which is actually unbelievable. So, 43 five stars. So, in one year, we 100%ed Abyss, Labyrinth, Act 6. And our biggest ever opening went from 6 five stars to 43 five stars and 12 six stars. I'm very proud about that. We're also going to have like 37 or 38 daily throne breakers. I slacked off in claiming these every day because we would have had 40. But these are really sick. We can get, we could get 10k jackpots from. On these 10k six star shard jackpots so if we do we could open even more six stars but that's very rare but we'll see um and then we also have where is it we also will have 10 uh 21 10 percent tier 5 cc crystals uh we would have 22 but in this aq um week our officer uh I'm not going to say names, but someone, he might be watching this video, uh, fucked up and put the same global on twice of the modifier parry curse, so we won't get, be getting the 10% crystal this week, so yeah, um, that's tragic, um, but I don't think it's going to make a big difference, honestly. I'm going to show my tier 5 CC now, to show what working with, we have 21 crystals, and we are 4 off. So 40, we need 4 out of the 21 to be cosmic, so I can get that rank 3 Corvus finally. Um, we already have a mutant in skill, which can be used on characters depending on what we pull. And we will most likely um, be forming a mystic as well as the cosmic. Uh, we need 4 of those as well, I think, too. Uh, close to 3, but not quite, I'm pretty sure. Um... I mean, we're nowhere close to tech, but, you know, whatever. Tech's just, you know, I've, ever since tier 5 CC was available, we never pulled a full catalyst, and we barely get any, whenever we do the openings, like, a tech's just getting neglected, but honestly, I don't really care that much. The only character who I could rank 3 is Ghost, but, like, her prestige is so shit, and also, like, from her at rank 3 to rank 3, I don't think it would be that much of a difference. I'd still definitely do it. But I'd rather give it to, like, a character like that needs it more, like Warlock. Because his damage isn't as good. But, yeah. Um, and let me show the 6 stars, just to show you what we want. Oh, actually, I'll show the 5 stars first. So, for skill and mutant, we basically just want to awaken Namor. I could awaken him, but the extra 26 would be helpful. Because... I can almost SIG 200, so the extra 26 would be helpful, because I want to SIG 200 rank 5 him for a path in X7 in the beta. That was really not fun, and I was really just pissed off about that path. There was only, like, one path that was difficult, and it was that one. And I was thinking, like, this path sucks, and I just realized with the nodes that if I had a SIG 200 name more, it would be cheese. So I'm probably going to do that. 
And then for skill, we just want Nick, Nick Fury um, because where, where's the skill character? Okay, look, because we have four five star skill gems, so we can awaken him. So that's pretty much it for that class. And then cosmic and tech, we pretty much only care about warlock and guillotine twenty ninety nine. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, is there anything from the Cosmic class? Awakening Silver Surfer originally was the plan, and then I could SIG 200 him. But now that I realize that I could SIG 200 Namor instead, for, and he'd actually be helpful for other than, like, 50 prestige boost, um, I'm not going to Silver Surfer. I don't care anymore. The prestige boost would be too minimal for me to care about, and, like, one extra rank 3 6 star would just push him out, so it'd just be a waste. So, yeah, that, those are the 5 stars. And then for the 6 stars... Uh, for science, we could form a catalyst, but it's we got to get lucky, I guess. And I don't think anyone here is deservant of it now. Maybe rank through Red Hulk, but I don't really want to do that. Two pulls I want are Cat, Beardo, and Human Torch. I'd rank through both those guys on Awakened, just because how good they are also. Because, yeah, why not? Uh, skill, we already have rank three Aegon, so we already do have a skill catalyst. So if we form a second one, that wouldn't be fun. But I would rank three Nick Fury on Awakened, just because he's a beast and I don't even have a five star. Um, also, there's not that many good skill characters in this game. Mutant, we really want to awaken a Mega Red and Colossus. We already have the Tier 5 Mutant, and we might form a second one in the opening. Depends on how the RNG goes. So, I really just... Top pull out of all the six stars is awakening a Mega Red. That's, like, the top pull. Um, Colossus is also really good. And then, pulling Magneto would be decent, but we already have him as a 5 star maxed out, so... Wouldn't really be a big difference. Cosmic, we want to awaken Corvus. Um, if we form the Cosmic, which we should, I'm going to awaken him. Um, but I've been saving this gem just to make sure that I don't like f um, pull a different character that I'd rather rank 3 first. But after doing extensive thought, I still would rank 3 him over Captain Marvel movie. So, because I use him in AQ. So, yeah. Uh, for Cosmic, awakening Corvus or getting Captain Marvel movie would be pretty much top pulls. Um, Silver Surfer would be decent for Prestige, maybe in the future. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, tech, we just want Guillotine or Warlock. Uh, rather get a Warlock, but they're both really sick. And after watching Legacy's three-star gameplay, um, uh, the free-to-play account, I really want a six-star. That could just rank two, rank three. Um, Mystic, we already have rank three Doom. We're gonna probably form a Mystic Catalyst, so I'm gonna rank three Clairvoyant unduped even so if we can awaken her in this opening that'll be really good just for the prestige and then for the characters i would want dragon man but i don't think he's gonna be in the pool and then for these guys the ones that are in the pool i don't really care about that much i'm gonna be honest i really just want to awaken clairvoyant she's like the only mystic i care about here um dragon man's third but i don't think he's gonna be in the pool so yeah um these are all the six stars I got. Uh, Wickening Void could be decent, but I already have maxed out five star. Um, Wickening Coal could be interesting, but I'd rather just not, honestly. I don't really use them ever. So, yeah. We are days away, five days away from the opening. And we are 43 five stars, 12 six stars. That's pretty crazy. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.